Hi, this is Jeremy the Tall Trainer and I'm here at the park. We're going to show you an obstacle course style workout today. So uh, this can be done with uh, very little equipment. Uh, we only have a, a couple items that we're going to be using here. So our, uh, our first exercise, what you're going to do is you're going to do an exercise, you're going to move, do an exercise, move, and do an exercise, move, and, and go around. So I'll just kind of show you as we go here. So over here, the first exercise, you may want a towel for this. So you're going to be elbow on the ground there. Can be done from knees, keeping the hip up. Also can be done from toes. If you're doing it from your knees, make sure your knees are about that 90 degrees there. Uh, up from toes, you're right in here. We're going to use our water bottle for this, or you can use a dumbbell or something like that. And we're going to raise up to the side here. Raise up to the side. Now, we're going to try to keep the hip off the ground. If you want to go a little bit harder, you could try to raise the top leg up as you're doing it. We're going to do 10 on each side and then 10 on the other side. Okay, make sure you keep that core locked in. It's an abdominal exercise, a little upper back exercise there too, especially depending on how heavy you go with that object that you're holding. The next exercise is gonna be a walking lunge. So we're gonna step out, come down, and back up. When we do a walking lunge, we wanna make sure that we're not, we're not drifting as we lunge. We kinda of stop that forward, come down and up, stop the forward, down and up. Right, and then let's just make sure that we keep that knee in good alignment there. So we're going to come halfway across the field here. I'm just going to fast forward. And right to here. So when you get about halfway across this soccer field here, then we do a little split stance. It's about I don't know, 30 yards or something like that. So we got our split stance. We're going to do a, a, a split squat, or we sometimes call it a lunge as, as well. So you're coming down and up right in here. Make sure you're not straightening your leg. As you go, this tends to load that knee a lot. What we want to try to do is focus on the hip. So we're going to stay, try to stay on the heel of that, and that knee hardly moves as we're doing this. You can just about touch that back knee to the ground. I'm actually touching a little bit here. And we've got a slight lean forward as we're doing this. So you notice the knee not moving a lot, pulsing up and down, I'm getting a really good burn. So you can do 10 on one side or 20 on each side. So 10 on, <laughs> 10 on each side or 20 on each side. And then we're going to do a bear crawl. The other option for this is a high knee walk. So, just walking with high knees, or the bear crawl. Bear crawl, you just put your hands down, and feet down, and you crawl across the field here. So, I want to make sure you don't fall on your face while you do this. So, if you feel that's why we have the option of the high knee walk. So, if you feel like you can't hold yourself up, it's not fun to land on your face. So, so switch to the high knee walk if that's the case, okay? So, fast forward again. Over here. We're going to get to push-ups. All right, so we're going to come down here. We got some push-ups right here. You can do it from your knees. It's so right in here. Make sure your head and shoulders are out in front of the hands. And abs are in tight. Make sure you're not pushing back. These are not push backs; so they're push-ups. So make sure you're going up and down here, not not forward and back. So also, toes is always a good option there too. So right in here. Keep that body locked in. We want to make sure we're not shrugging up here. We want to make sure we're not piking. We also want to make sure we're not dipping. Okay, so we're nice, nice solid, solid body as you're going through those push-ups. About 10 push-ups or 20 push-ups. So depending on your ability level, you can go for the higher number or the lower number. So we'll just pretend I did 20 right there. The next one is going to be a side step. So we're going to be in a slight squat here, and we're side stepping. You're going to do five on one side. When you get through five, you're going to pivot turn and then do five. If you don't feel very confident in your feet, take a couple steps to do that. One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to pivot turn if you are not very good at pivoting. So if you try to turn and your, your heel stays on the ground, you're going to be twisting that knee. That's not good. So if you're going to turn, you need to lift that heel off the ground and pivot on the ball of the foot to make that turn or just, just doing a couple, a couple turns then. So five, one side. By the other side. The more exercise you want to get, the lower you can go. So, and we'll fast forward. <laughs> so we're gonna take all the way down to the end here. It's a long way. All right, down here. When you finally get to the other end here, so each section, each traveling section is about about 30 meters, except for that last one. That was more like 50 meters, 60 meters there. Or yards, if you believe in the, in the English version, not the, not the metric. So over here, we're going to be doing 
uh, kind of a plank version here, but it's going to be a mountain climber uh, with a twist. Okay? So you'll be up in that, that push up position, and you're going to bring the knee towards the opposite elbow. So, knee to the opposite elbow. You may not be able to get very far in there, that's okay, but make sure your weight's shifted forward, not back here. Back here, you won't be able to get your knee very close to your arms. So, shift forward, get some good weight on those arms, and then you'll be able to touch there. So, you can do eight or 16 or, uh, you know, 20, 30, whatever, whatever you want to do, but somewhere around in there is going to be good. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to jog over here. Kind of the other side of the soccer field, we're going to work our way back a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plank area again. So we're going to do it on the hands and feet there, and we're going to walk sideways here. So foot moves, hand moves, foot moves, hand moves, foot moves, hand moves. And you try to stay nice and even as you do this. The other option here, if that's too much, again, if you're worried you're going to fall on your face, things like that, is go back to that sidestep again. So pivoting sidestep. I'm going to finish off with this one here though. All right. Now we've got a tricep extension here. We're using a band. It's one of the few places we're going to use equipment here. You can do a tricep push up if you don't have equipment. So, but we got some. What I like about this is it helps us work on our upper body posture a lot. So you're going to see the chest out, the butt out, the chin's tucked in a bit, tipped way over, lift the elbows up high, and you're squeezing back. So try to keep everything in nice alignment, which is hard because there's a tendency to want to want to round up like this. Don't do that. Stick the chest out, stick the butt out, and get that good squeeze right in there. Bending a little bit more actually makes it easier on your arms. So you can choose that. It's a little bit harder on your legs, but it will be easier on your arms. Make sure it's not a very hard band if you're doing this one. Again, if you don't have equipment, a tricep push-up can be good here. Hands in close together. Uh, knees is pretty good for a lot of people. You can do toes on this too. Shift forward more than you would for regular push-up. So shift forward more. Come down and up right in here. Elbows rub your ribs as you're doing that. So it's, it's right in here. As you're doing that, so they're, they're in tight. That's how we get the back of the arm going. So about 10 to 20 of those would be a good, good work on the triceps. Or if you got the band, about 10 to 20 of those. From there, you're just running on the outside. For the video, I'm not going to run the whole way. <laughs> so that'd be a boring thing to watch. So you run around the outside here. You can see the other goal down there, and then around to the other goal there, and around. Then you go, keep going around. So you see me again, hey, and then you finish off back where you started. So you go on the outside to finish off where you started there. So it'll take you a little while. Give yourself, you know, two minutes, maybe three minutes of rest, and then go through it again. So it's kind of a little obstacle course. You can time yourself so you can keep track of how fast you're able to do it. And the better shape you're in, the better condition you get in, as long as you keep those repetition numbers the same you should be able to see a change in your speed. You should be able to get done a little bit quicker as you are in better shape. So again, uh, these workouts are not set up for everybody. You know, there's, it's just it's for generally healthy, not a whole lot of issues. So uh, if you do have some issues there, make sure you get with a trainer first before you try something like this. Um, we might be able to come up with some, some better options, uh, some, some further modifications that you might need. So if you're generally healthy, you can give this a try. Uh, be safe, use your best judgment, consult your doctor, all those great things. Um, hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, we, we're actually going to do this one tomorrow in the park. Um, but by the time you see this video, it won't be tomorrow anymore. So um, a great opportunity to get some exercise outside. You don't need a lot of equipment, and uh, you can have a little bit of fun. So uh, check out our website, talltrainer.com, and, uh, and send us some messages. Our, our blog is uh, healthclubwithoutwalls.com, and we got a lot of different posts up there, a lot of videos you can see. So, uh, so visit us, uh, ask us questions, we'd love to help. Have fun, be safe.